Rocky shores are dynamic environments that are constantly changing. Half the time, they're covered by water, and the other half, they're exposed to the open air. Mussels are the foundation to these rocky benches. These California mussels attach together to create a complex matrix that can hold a host of other species. Deep within these mussel beds, however, lies a predator. These snails might not look very threatening, but they can eat the very mussels that they're living upon. They eat by drilling a perfect circle through the shell of their prey. They release acid, then scrape it away using a giant conveyor belt of teeth to create this perfect circle. They then can eat the mussel or prey item from the inside out. I'm Emily Longman, and I'm a PhD candidate at UC Davis's Bodega Marine Laboratory. I'm studying how this species of snail is adapted to their local surroundings. I'm researching several populations across this species range and comparing them as a way to study the process of adaptation. I've done a large laboratory experiment where I've raised thousands of snails from the point of hatching. Once they were a year old, I tested them on their ability to drill mussels and ultimately identified what is the largest and thickest mussel that each individual snail could drill. From this experiment, I've been able to show that the snails from California are superior drillers than those in Oregon. Some of the snails from the California populations can drill mussels that are more than eight times the size of the snail itself while snails from the Oregon populations can only drill relatively small mussels or prefer to not drill mussels at all. It seems like the populations in California have adapted to the fact that mussels are substantially thinner here than in Oregon. While in Oregon, mussels are considerably thicker and there are a number of different prey items available so there hasn't been much pressure to evolve the ability to drill these very thick-shelled mussels. I grew up loving science and always wanting to be outside in nature. But it wasn't until college that I realized I could have a job where I got paid to go outside, be inspired by the nature around me, and be able to do science. No two days of grad school are the same. One day, I'm a plumber, the next, I'm a carpenter. The day after that, I'm doing arts and crafts and putting little tags on tiny snails. My research studies how populations adapt to their local surroundings. Understanding current patterns of evolution will help scientists predict how marine species will adapt to future climatic conditions. <laughs>